Hi, this is Alec from Profanity Instruments, and today I'd like to show you one of my creations, the Concert Grand Piano. There are loads of sampled pianos out there with sounds and styles suited to all kinds of music. What makes this piano special is its warm character, the sense of real size and space that makes it feel and sound authentic. The Concert Grand made by Profanity Instruments is simple enough. It's a Steinway Model D Grand Piano, where each note was recorded at five dynamic levels through four stereo pairs of microphones giving you, the artist, the flexibility to blend between the mics during the mix. A pair of dynamic mics placed directly over the hammers capture the hard attack of the piano and are great for a compact and direct sound from the player's perspective. A pair of high-end condenser mics spaced out over the strings capture the clarity and nuance of each note, as well as the full size and weight of the soundboard. A few feet away is a stereo ribbon mic that picks up the beautifully warm tone and is a natural choice for jazz, classical and film soundtracks. Finally, a pair of ambient mics out in the audience seating brings out the sense of space in the venue for each note, providing authentic reflections that plugins can't emulate. The best part is that you can blend the mics together to shape your own sound, just as you would with a real piano recording. The reverb engine helps to place the piano in acoustic spaces more suited to your production, so the instrument has been tailored to work with the selection of room models already included in contact. The interface was inspired by the layout of some other popular piano libraries, but I've created this from the ground up with new functions for some familiar controls. For example, the color knob adjusts the character of the piano, but there's no EQ going on here. As we turn it up, the timbre of the piano becomes more responsive without getting any louder so the piano takes on a harder characteristic. And turning it down, we get a softer tone without affecting how hard or soft you play. Opening up the tone panel gives us access to a few other goodies. There's a simple three band EQ for shaping your tone, which can be turned on or off. The low keys knob affects the notes below middle C to change the weight of the left hand performance. The stereo width can be adjusted for a wider or narrower sound and we can add some punch with gentle compression and tape saturation to help the piano sit better in a busy mix. The Concert Grand is the perfect choice if you're looking for the subtle gestures of classical performance or ambient film scores, and is equally suited to more modern productions where it'll add color and realism to your music. Let's see what we can do with a more modern production. The first thing I'm going to do is swap over to the hammer mics and give it a slightly harder tone. Now I'm going to choose the right room. I'm going to go for a music studio. And I'll try and get a kind of slapback sound by turning up the distance. So we hear that reverb a little bit later. I'll open up the tone panel and I'll give it a beefier EQ, a little bit more bass, a little bit less of that mid-range, a little bit brighter. We'll turn up the low key so we get a weight to your left hand. It drives it a bit more. Let's listen to what that sounds like in the mix. We'll give it a little more punch so it sits better in the mix. Gives it a more compressed sound, but it's also more weighty, more beefy. You can hear some of the softer sounds. You can hear the room a bit better. It kind of flattens it out a bit. Yeah, that's sounding cool. 
here we're really going for that pumping kind of sound, so it suits the track well. Thank you. 